and welcome. We're going to solve this problem together. It's got multiple parts, but I encourage you throughout the video at different times to pause, read what you can, and try what you can, because I want to be your guide on this problem, but I know that you can do this without my help. So let's start by reading the problem together. It says that the table shown below was posted on the wall at Andy's hardware store to show the price of varying lengths of chain link fencing. And here we have the lengths and the prices. The price of the same fencing at Bargain Hardware can be determined by the equation y equals 2.5x, where y is the price in dollars for x feet of fencing. Determine the unit pricing and fencing in dollars per foot for each store. Well, bargain fencing, um, we can calculate this, but what's nice, of course, is the way they've written the equation, it tells you the unit price. Bargain fencing has the equation y equals 2.5x and essentially this is in what's called mx plus b form because y equals mx plus b in this case it's plus zero right there's no, nothing written there um, so you can see that adding zero doesn't change anything but once you write the plus zero it's easier to see that this fits the mx plus b format where 2.5 is m and zero is b or the y-intercept Zero is essentially the starting cost of bargain fence at bargain fencing. So that just this just means that bargain fencing, the unit price is two point five uh, dollars, right? Per what is it? Um, per foot. And if we're not sure on that, or if I haven't convinced you, what you can do is plug a couple of different values in for x to see what's going on. So for example you could do y equals 2.5 times 1 foot and then y equals 2.5 times 2 feet and so on and so forth and what you would see is that every time you add a foot right the cost goes up by another two and a half dollars which means the unit rate is two and a half dollars per foot um, now for the table here it's a little bit scary um, we have these crazy numbers right but let's see what happens when we compare the price to the amount of length so a dollar six, one hundred sixty-eight dollars and seventy-five cents divided by seventy-five. What we get is two dollars and twenty-five cents. This means that so far it seems as two dollars and twenty-five cents per foot, right? That's my dollar sign, and that's my slash per foot. Let's try another one. Two hundred eighty-one point twenty-five. All those dollars divided by the amount of feet gives you another 225 so this means that this is also 225 per foot and you can test them all you'll find that's true for all of them so this means that the unit rate uh, at Annie's Harbor store right is dun, 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 225 per foot and you can write the equation y equals 2.25x it's going to be helpful to us um, now let's go into part two where we graph and before we go any further I'm just going to rewrite these things before I forget them at Andy's, the equation was y equals 2.25x. And at bargain, what was it called? Bargain something. Bargain, bargain fencing. All right, bargain fencing. Let's call it bargain. Too late to write the word fencing. It's y equals 2.5x. And they want on this graph below to show the relationship between the length and the cost. And they want us to label each line. <coughs> So uh, I'm going to um, set this up by um, making a little table right over here. And so on this table, we're going to have three things. We're going to have X, which is the input, and then we'll have a column for Andes, right, where Y equals 2.25X. I'll put an A up here to remind myself. And then I'll use purple B for bargain, Y equals 2.5X. And... Um, then I'm just going to split this table up into regions with my line tool. Okay, so now the goal is to plug in some different x values that work. Um, what do I mean work? Well, I mean x values that work on this graph, where the domain on this graph is going from 0 to 225. So you definitely want to pick a low and something near the high. So I'm going to pick a 0, and I'm going to pick, um, I'm going to pick 200. 
and I'll pick one in the middle. I'll pick 100. Love plugging in 100. Love it, love it, love it. So if we plug in 0 for x to Andy's function, we get 225 times 0, which is 0. If we plug it in to the bargain function, we also get 0. So we are going to plot the point 0, 0 for both functions. Then plugging in 100, that just moves our decimal to the right twice, we get 225 for Andy and 250 for bargain. So already, ironically, the bargain place is more expensive, right? They're telling us it's a bargain, but clearly it's not. And then uh, if we plug in 200, we can essentially double what we have before, and we'll have 450 for Andy, right, and 500 for bargain. And just to check my math, of course, if we're not, you can bring out a calculator on this question, so it's a part two question. So 225 times 200, there it is, 450, and 2.5 times 200, 500. All right. So let's plot these things. So we'll start with Andes. So we'll use the color coding, right? We've got 0, 0. We've got 100 and then 225, which is about here, of course, halfway between 200 and 250. And then we get 200 and 450, right? These three points here. Take my line tool, and you would use your ruler here. Draw the line, draw an arrow on it, and then write my equation right next to that line. That's all you have to do to label it. And we can label the points in a moment. I just want to see where um, we'll be plotting the bargain fencing. So bargain fencing also is at 0, 0. And then at 100, 250. So 100 and 250. You can see it's more expensive there. And then 200, 500, which is right at the top of the grid. Take our ruler or line tool, right, if you're using a computer here, like me, and Right, for the arrow there, and then label it y equals 2.5x. And here, right, uh, it's also a good measure if you have time to label your points so people know exactly what you know, right? So here, we're just going to clarify hey, we know what we're doing, right? This is the point 24450, this is the point 00, zero. and then for the bargain, I'm also going to label the points 00, zero. And this is 100 to 50. And this is 200, 450. I like to label, oops, 500. I like to label the points because it leaves no room for um, debate. I know what I'm doing. You can see it. It made it pretty. I've also labeled my points and my lines. So there's no reason to take anything from what I've done here. All right. Thank you.